Florence, Italy, the city that filled with timeless art, architecture, and mesmerizing views at every turn, making Florence as one of the prettiest city in the world. Well, it's no surprise because Florence is indeed the birthplace of Renaissance art and architecture, which you can still see and find at museums like Uvizi Gallery, Palazzo Vecchio, or Opera del Duomo Museum. Now, how come this city became the center of Renaissance art? Well, one of the reasons was because during the 14th century, the city has grown economically, resulting in many wealthy citizens like middle and upper class merchants and bankers. One of the wealthiest of all at that time was the Medici family. The Medici was an Italian banking family and political dynasty that held great power in the Republic of Florence during the 15th century. With their wealth, they were able to build relationships with many powerful leaders to gain influence and power. Their influence was so great that the family bank became the official bank of the Pope. Besides wealth and power, the family was also known for having genuine appreciation for art and desire to foster creativity and innovation. For that reason, they regularly hosted and funded many talented artists and intellects that can bring prestige to the city and contribute to the cultural and intellectual advancements of the society. Also by sponsoring these individuals, the Medici were able to solidify their political power and enhance their reputation as cultural rulers. There are some important members of the Medici that helped shape the High Renaissance, and some of them had great influence not just in Florence, but also outside of Florence that later on became part of the European history. The first Medici member that played a big part during Renaissance was Cosimo de' Medici, also known as Cosimo the Elder. He played a significant role in the rise of the Medici family as he was the first of the clan to become the de facto ruler of Florence. He was also the Medici patriarch who laid the groundwork for the Italian Renaissance. With the immense wealth he held, he used it to support artists and help art flourish in the city. Some of the artists that he patronaged at that time were Michelozzo, who designed the Palazzo Medici. Fra Angelico, who created the magnificent fresco, The Annunciation, and Donatello, who created the bronze statue of David. He also funded the architect Brunelleschi to complete the famous dome of Santa Maria del Viore in 1436. Besides art, Cosimo was also known for sponsoring building projects inside and outside of Florence that helped extending his influence and reputation. He also founded the first public library in Florence, where people can read books with no charge. Cosimo's role as the head of the family and de facto ruler of Florence ended after his death in 1464. He was awarded the title Father of the Fatherland due to his contribution to the welfare and stability of Florence during his rule. The next patron in the family was Cosimo the eldest grandchild Lorenzo de' Medici, also known as Lorenzo the Magnificent. He was labeled as one of the greatest leaders of his time not only for his skill in politics, but also successfully ruled Florence at the height of its artistic powers. He pushed the artists to have freedom in creating art that led them to explore new techniques, themes, and style. This freedom made a significant impact to the city because not only the city was filled with magnificent works of art but also enhanced the city's reputation as a cultural center of the Renaissance. He founded a public art school and had artists under his protection like Sandro Botticelli, Andrea de Verrocchio, Leonardo da Vinci, and Michelangelo whom Lorenzo treated like his own son. All of these individuals later turned out to be the greatest artists of the Renaissance. Besides art, Lorenzo also a patron of scholars and education. He bought a vast number of manuscripts and books to enrich the Medici Library. He was also responsible for the revival of the University of Pisa in 1473 by commissioning the building construction. Lorenzo later died in the year 1492, and unfortunately, things didn't go well for the Medici family afterwards. Apparently, 
Lorenzo's lack on business education resulting several branches of the family bank collapse. He also got into financial difficulties in later years due to the economic downturns and his extravagant spending on patronage. When Lorenzo's son Piero took over as head of the family as well as leader of Florence, the situation turned even worse. With the rise of Savonarola, who preached that families like the Medici were corrupts and tyrants, along with Piero's poor judgment in military and political matters, eventually led the Medici family into exile from Florence and brought the Medici bank to an end in 1494. The next important member of the family was Giovanni de' Medici, the second son of Lorenzo de' Medici who later on became Pope Leo X in 1513. He was not only responsible for the high renaissance in Rome, but also the one who successfully restored the Medici control of Florence after their exile in 1494. Like his father, the Pope had refined taste in arts, and he too became a patron of the arts during his papacy in Rome. He accelerated the construction of the new St. Peter's Basilica with the help of the legendary Raphael along with Fra Giovanni Giocondo. He also commissioned new churches and chapels with grand architecture as well as works of art from Raphael and Michelangelo. Besides art and architecture, he was also patron of education. He reformed the Roman University and all its faculties, summoning lecturers and professors from all Christendom to elevate the university's status. Although Rome was flourished in culture and arts under his reign, Giovanni sure was terrible in his job as a pope, because not only he almost bankrupted the church for spending on the extravagant projects and his lavish lifestyle, but he also had the church to start an indulgence campaign to raise money in order to balance the church's debt. The latter became one of the main reasons why the Protestant Reformation began. The next Medici member who continued on the family tradition as patron of arts is Giulio de' Medici, who also became Pope by taking the name Clement VII. He was the cousin of Giovanni de' Medici, aka Pope Leo X. Although his reign was not particularly successful, but when it came to art, he was extremely remarkable. He sponsored many great works from Raphael, Cellini, and Michelangelo, but the best known work he funded is Michelangelo's monumental fresco in the Sistine Chapel, The Last Judgment. Like the previous Medici member, Giulio's patronage was not limited to art, but also extended to theology, literature, and science. He personally approved Copernicus' astronomical theory that Earth revolves around the Sun, and he was also remembered for protecting Jewish people from the Inquisition in Rome. Moving on, we have a female patron, Catherine de' Medici, who became the Queen Consort of France in 1547. She was one of the few symbols of female power in Europe and made a significant contribution to the French Renaissance. Not only she was able to hold together the French monarchy through the death of multiple kings during a period of civil strife, she was also known for being the patron of the arts and literature in France, where she encouraged and supported artists, poets, musicians, and architects. She owned lots of visual arts including tapestries, portraits, and paintings, which most of the works were by François Couet and Jean Couet. She also had the love in architecture and she desired to build and leave great achievement behind her after she died. Some of the works she patronage was Valois Chapel at Saint-Denis and the Tuileries Palace. She also loved poetry and patronized poets to write verses, scripts, and other literature for her court festival and public events. Another thing that Catherine introduced to the French was court ballet or ballet de corps, which originated from the Italian Renaissance. She funded and encouraged the growth of ballet de corps in her festive entertainments which included dance, costume, music, and poetry. Although she had many pieces of art collection, but unfortunately most of her patronage left no permanent legacy because her extravagant spending on arts and architecture left the French court a large debt after her death in 1589, resulting many of her collections were sold on. 
The last member that helped shape the Renaissance is Cosimo II de' Medici. He was known as the patron of the astronomer and physicist Galileo Galilei, who later on took part in Renaissance science. Cosimo, who always had a great interest in science, maintained a great friendship with Galileo, who used to be his childhood tutor. He later on invited Galileo back to his court to tutor his son Ferdinando II. It was under Cosimo's patronage that Galileo was able to take part in many researches and experiments that helped create the modern science that we know today. From this video, we can conclude that the Medici was a wealthy and powerful clan that had great power during the Renaissance era. They played an important role in governing Florence and had a big part in making the city beautiful that it is today. The family started out as bankers, then the de facto ruler of Florence. Although the family suffered a great loss in 1494, but they managed to rise again by shifting their expertise to the artistic and political realm outside of Florence. Eventually, the Medici produced four popes, and they would wed their lineage into many Europe's royal family. But still, nothing lasts forever, because the last Medici ruler, Gian Gastone de' Medici, died without a male heir in 1737, finally ending the family dynasty for almost 300 years.